May the storm of gaming be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker 69 here with an update video for Grand Star Legion. And what's to come for the years 2023 to 2024 and maybe 2025 as well. So, in this update, I will be talking about the future of my series on what I'm going to be continuing and ongoing, as well as new series as well coming up. And I will also be talking about other series that are returning from other, for other members of Grand Star Legion, like Starman 3. And uh, CD-ROM 1019, as well as uh, Mr. Fulcrum, as well. Um, as well as for Sinbad and Vincent, they are on a break from now for doing videos, but they'll be back when they're ready. So, yeah. Um... Anyways, let's get on with the update, shall we? This will be talk. I'll be talking about what I'm gonna be bringing back and doing, and some that I wish I could have continued. I know it's been a while since I uploaded on Grand Star Legion. I it's almost actually been a little bit over a year since I uploaded on Grand Star Legion. I know. Some of y'all out there are wishing I was, was still uploading, you know. But, of course, I was busy with my own channel, as you may know. I have I have my own YouTube channel, as well as a Twitch channel, where I've been streaming on there lately. Since uh, November, actually. November 2022. Anyways, I kind of took a break from streaming off on Twitch. And got back to doing YouTube again. So I had to get my foot back into the YouTube waters. So I started uploading on my channel first to get to get back into the groove of it again. And then I sort of got motivation to do videos for Grand Star Legion again. Thanks to Starman 3 and a number of other friends helping me with motivation of doing videos again. I would I would mention their names, but you know, like they, they could be anonymous. But if you want to know their names, I will I will let them know about this update video, and they can say for themselves. Okay? Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. On Grand Star Legion for 2023, 2024, and maybe 2025 as well. This is also for the future of Grand Star Legion to come. So, yeah. All right. So we all know what series I love to do for Grand Star Legion, and that is Storm Singularity, or as you guys like to call it, Singularity. Bowser. <laughs> That's right. I like to call it Singularity or Bowser's Singularity. <laughs> Anyways, continue, Storm. Yeah, I'm going to be continuing Storm Singularity. And in Storm Singularity, I'll be uh, bringing in. Um, some series are coming back to join Storm Singularity for the first time. I will be doing Summertime Splash is coming to Storm Singularity starting June 5th. So stay tuned for that. Summertime Splash will be going from in, through June all the way to to the end of summertime which is in September and of course for you guys on the southern hemisphere of the earth 
that would be Australia and South America and whatnot. Um, Y'all summertime is actually during our winter uh, winter bat winter bash series. Let me get that real quick. Frosty winter bash will be coming back as well. It will be coming back uh, in December, going all the way to the end of March. Yes, Frosty Winter Bash will be lasting all the way to all the way to the end of March until springtime gets here in 2024. So from December to March, December 2023, all the way to March 2024, Frosty Winter Bash. That'll be a fun time. And another thing I'll be bringing back is Spooktoberfest. The theme for Spooktoberfest this year is Frankenstein. As you can see, no longer have the blood and vampire theme about it, or demon theme, or whatever you guys saw about that with all the blood and whatnot. This year, I'm going with a Frankenstein and zombie undead theme this year for Spooktoberfest 2023 and possibly 2024 as well. And with Spooktoberfest, it will also be included with Storm Singularity as well. So that would be pretty cool. Frosty Winter Bash will also be with Storm Singularity as usual. So, yeah. And another thing I want to we're going to be bringing back is uh Co-op Adventures. I will let you guys know that I know it's been a while since we did a co-op adventure as well. Last time we did it, me and Starman were doing uh, Super Mario World on the Switch Online, on the Super Nintendo Online on the Switch. We made, uh, we got up to three parts, basically. And at the, at the end of part three, we got stuck in one of the, I believe in the fifth castle at the end of uh, the fifth area, which is... Uh, the Lost Forest. Illusion. A Forest of Illusion. Yeah. Forest of Illusion. We got stuck in that castle. That would be why we never continued after that. Because uh, we, we got stumped and didn't know what to do. You know. But it will be coming back. Don't worry about that, guys. It will be coming back. I know. Um. We do got plans to bring out do to do other games in co-op adventure as well. I want to do uh, Super Mario Brothers three with Starman for co-op adventure, as well as uh, since it was recently added on the Switch, I thought, what if me and Starman also did Super Mario Advance for the Switch Online as well? That would be uh, Super Mario Advance, would be Super Mario Br Brothers USA, which is uh, the USA version of Super Mario Brothers 2. You know, it'd be pretty cool to do for co-op adventure. And I also got the idea, what if me and Starman, or anybody that wanted to get into this in the, in the Grand Star Legion or Guest or whatever, what if we did... Donkey Kong Country for co-op adventure as well. Because that can go up to two players as well, Donkey Kong Country. And then there's also uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3 for the Super Nintendo. That'd be pretty cool for co-op adventure. Um, but yeah. If you got any suggestions you want to see with for, for games for co-op adventure, let us know in the comments below for co-op adventures. And yeah, 
there will be more co-op adventures to come. I will think of more of what to add to that onto the tracker, and I'll let uh, Starman know what he wants to add to it as well, because he also has a choice too, not just me. So, also, just know that Co-op Adventure is not just for me or Starman 3. It's for also CD-ROM 1019, Mr. Fulcrum, Vincent, and Sinbad as well as any guests who want to join in on that as well, like B Winter or anybody else, that, or Silverwing Yoshi 64, almost said 69. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, Silverwing Yoshi 64. <laughs> um, if you ever hear this, there you go. Um, but yeah. Co-op Adventures will be making a comeback. And then another one I want to do. Starman really wants to do this. And this is this is a Grand Star Legion Multiverse. Where this goes up to three or four players. And this is for online games. Like uh, we could do Forza Horizon 5. Or we could do Fallout 76. Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, we could do Back for Blood, which would also be part of Spooktoberfest as well. Um, we could also do uh, Dead Island 2, which recently released. That would be, be a good game to do during uh, Spooktoberfest or Summertime Splash. This has got a beach setting for that game, you know. And then uh, another cool game for multiverse would be uh, Dirt Five. That'll be pretty cool for Dirt. That that'll be a good game for summertime splash. And uh, let's see, what other good games would be good for multiverse? Another good game for multiverse would be uh, oh geez. Grand Theft Auto Online, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, Starman could do more Among Us, oh my goodness, that would be pretty cool for Multiverse, Sea of Thieves, Rocket League if you're into that. Pokemon Unite would be cool for that as well. Monster Hunter Rise would be cool for that as well. Destiny 2. Left 4 Dead. Halo Infinite. Phasmophobia, that will be pretty cool for Spooktoberfest and Multiverse. Streets of Rage 4, Shredder's Revenge. Diablo 4 once it releases in June. I'm pretty sure by the time this video is out, Diablo 4 will already be out. State of Decay 2 will be a cool one as well. State of Decay 2 will be perfect for, for Spooktoberfest Multiverse. 
Fall Guys. That will be fun to see on Multiverse or whatever Starman wants uh, Fall Guys on. Anyways, those are the games we could expect for Multiverse. If there's others you would like to see, sound off in the comments below. And Starman will also let me know what games he wants to do for Multiverse. He, he has ideas as well. So, yeah. And another one that I want to do for Grand Star Legion, and this is a new thing that I want to bring part of Spooktoberfest or Summertime Splash or Frosty Winter Bash and Storm Singularity and Multiverse or whatever, Co-op Adventures. This one... Storm Striker SX9's Zom Apocalypse. This will be perfect for Spooktoberfest, Summertime Splash, Storm Singularity, Co op Adventures, or Multiverse. Basically, any game that involves zombies, post apocalypse settings, and the like. Like Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 1 and 2, Fallout Tactics, Fallout 76, I think I already said that. I don't know if I did or not. Wasteland 1 through 3, um, Dead Island, Dead Island and Riptide, and of course Dead Island 2, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Back for Blood. Anything that has to do with The Walking Dead, that would be pretty cool to see. Um, what other cool zombie games are there? Dying Light 1 and 2. Plants vs. Zombies. Dead Trigger 1 and 2. Days Gone. State of Decay 2. I believe there's also a State of Decay 3 coming as well. All of the Resident Evil games. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. The Last of Us. And The Last of Us Part 2. World War Z. Dead Rising. Killing Floor 2. Dead by Daylight, although that's a slasher game, but still it would be perfect for that. House of the Dead, Dead Space, all of the Dead Space games, including the Dead Space remake. Seven Days to Die. Zombie U, Zombie Army 4, Dead War, Stubbs the Zombie. Basically, anything that involves post apocalypse settings or zombies or the like. Heck, I will even, I will even put in Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Because who had fun with that, you know? I had fun with Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Um, but yeah. That would be pretty cool for Storm Striker Rest of Science Zompocalypse. Also, about the Zompocalypse, it's not just Storm Striker Rest of Science that can do it. Anybody in Grand Star Legion can do this. I am just the host of it, so anybody can hop into this. Star, uh, Star, Starman 3 can hop into it. 
CD-ROM 1019 can hop into it if he's into zombie games or post-apocalypse games. Mr. Fulcrum can also hop into this as well as Sinbad and Vincent. And anybody that wants to guest in this as well can also hop into this. We'll hack up some zombies and have some fun. So yeah. That'll be pretty cool for that series. Let's see, did I leave anything out? No, I didn't. I will give I will give you some uh honorable mentions. I will still be doing the RPG games that I like to do as well. And, of course, I know it's been a while since I did a Pokemon kind of thing for Grand Star Legion, but Pokemon will still be going as well. I know I did Pokemon Stadium a while back, and I did try to do Pokemon Diamond, but I sort of removed it at the last second. Yep, you know, out of nowhere, I... I thought I would, like, redo it because uh, Pokemon Diamond is actually one that I wanted to do with Starman on the side, you know. Like, I'm basically doing the old version of Pokemon Diamond while Starman 3 or anybody in Grand Star Legion can do the newer version of Pokemon Pearl. Which was in the last update, by the way, that we mentioned. That is still coming, but it hasn't came yet. Um, I also, speaking of Pokemon, I sort of want to do uh, Pokemon Violet or Scarlet for GSL as well as uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. That would be pretty cool. And with Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, that game can actually be co op together. But I don't typically have a copy of that game myself, but Starman does. If anybody else in Grand Star Legion has a copy of Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, they're welcome to do that game on Co-op Adventures. That'd be pretty cool for Co-op Adventures. Um... I will be doing more Pokemon Stadium as well. I plan on doing Pokemon Stadium battles with anybody in Grand Star Legion since Pokemon Stadium is now a part of Nintendo Online on the Nintendo 64. And once Pokemon Stadium 2 is added on there, that will also be added as well. And once Pokemon Red and Blue, Yellow, Silver, Gold and Crystal is added to the Game Boy Online on the Switch. That should be a thing as well on Grand Star Legion. Because uh, we'll be able to trade and battle each other on that as well. And we can record it. You know. Um, that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, there will be more co-op adventures, like I said. There's new additions to that with the Nintendo 64 and the Game Boy Advance being added to uh, Nintendo Online, as well as Game Boy Color and regular Game Boy as well. Like I said before, I want to do I want to do more co-op adventures with anybody, not just Starman. So yeah, the same with Multiverse. Multiverse is something that we haven't got to do yet, but it'd be pretty cool. Even multiverse could also be involved with sports games like Forza Horizon 5. Uh, other sports games like Wii Sports or any sports games that has baseball or soccer or, or golf in it. Or even Mario Party. I forgot to mention Mario Party and Mario Kart. What am I thinking? I forgot to mention those. That'd be perfect for multiverse. Uh... Mario Party and Mario Kart. You know, uh, any any of those kart racing games like S Sega, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Sonic Team Racing. Uh, I believe LEGO recently came out with a new racing game as well. Um, at Disney also came out with Disney Speed Speed Racers. I don't know if I said that right or not, but let me get that right real quick. 
I know this is a pretty long update, but I have a lot to say. The recent racing games is Disney Speed Storm, The Crew Motor Fast, Kart Rider Drift, Need for Speed Unbound, MX versus ATV Legends, Grid Legends, Gran Turismo 7, if anybody's into that. If anybody has a PS5, they could do that game with with whoever. Uh, Forza Horizon 5, I know I already mentioned that. Um, Lego 2K Drive is the other racing game that I was mentioning. That'd be pretty cool to have on Grand Star Legion. All right. I think that'll do it for this update for Grand Star Legion. I know I had a lot to say. If I have anything else to say, I'll say that in the comments below. Um, but yeah. You know what they say. When you got to run off with your mouth, you got a lot to say, I guess. But... I just need, I had a lot of stuff to get off my chest because it's been literally a year, almost over a year since I uploaded on here. And I think I took a long enough break and it's time to get back to it. What do you say about that, guys? You think you want to see more Grand Star Legion videos from here on out? Motivation is key to that as well. Also, don't get yourself burned out either. Um, one, if you burn yourself out with doing videos on Grand Star Legion, it'll make you not want to upload again, and then you'll be taking breaks again. So, if you need to take a break, it's okay. But just make sure that it does take time to plan things out, too. So, it took me this whole time just to plan out things to do for Grand Star Legion, or even my own channel as well, so... Hope you guys enjoy the stuff that's to come. And I will see you guys in my videos for Grand Star Legion. I am Stormstriker SX9, and I will see you guys next time.